Welcome to the Fly With The Guys YouTube channel. We recently taught you the basics of air traffic control communication, but let's take those steps a little bit further and use that information to read the airspace around you. This video is brought to you by Plain English, one of the best ways to learn radio communications online or on your mobile device using their aviation radio simulator. Specializing in VFR and IFR communications, Plain English offers a fun, pressure-free way to get you ready to take control of the comms. More information in the description and remember to use our code FWTG to get a discount on your subscription. Real quick, this video is part of a series on talking to air traffic control. Videos on radio basics, mastering the radios, and flying in class D, C, and B airspace can be found down in the description. The whole purpose of this video is to help you go beyond just listening for your call sign and use other radio calls to understand what's going on in the airspace around you, which helps you become a safer pilot. It's similar to using a situational awareness tool, like in ForeFlight, where you can see all the traffic right on the screen. And don't get me wrong, this is a fantastic tool, but you don't want your head down in the avionics when you're supposed to be looking out the window for traffic. And if you don't have a situational awareness tool, this is literally the next best thing. Plus, it'll work for both towered and non-towered fields, but we're going to focus on towered fields for this video. So here's how it actually works. You actively listen for radio calls, hear where the aircraft are and what they're doing, and make a mental picture of what's going on around you. Then act upon any conflicts, but catalog the rest. Here's a good example. I'm on the ground waiting to take off, and at Deer Valley Airport, that can sometimes take a while. Now, instead of sitting out the ready, listening for my call sign, waiting for plane after plane to land, I relax and listen. I notice that it's busy. I hear the controller tell aircraft number three cleared to land and a new aircraft calling five miles north the base leg inbound for landing. By listening, I realize that there are three planes in the pattern that need to land before I can take off. And there's also an inbound aircraft that's so close and lined up for base, it could be cleared to land too. But then I hear the tower tell the inbound air traffic to turn and make a midfield entry. And that's the information I was listening for. Tower's creating spacing for me to take off, but I need to wait for the three landings first. So I relax until the third plane's on approach, and then I get ready to depart. And sure enough, as soon as the plane was off the runway, I got cleared for takeoff. This same situation can happen in the air, inbound or outbound an airport. Like if I was departing and air traffic control gave a traffic advisory to another plane, I could realize I'm that traffic, and I'm alerted to the fact that someone is looking for me. Or if I was inbound for some touch and goes and realized the pattern's kind of full, I could head over to another airport. Hopefully I'm painting the picture that listening and understanding where aircraft are, what they're doing, and how you fit in can make a safer flying environment for everyone. Now doing this is sometimes easier said than done, depending on where you fly. Reading the airspace can be easy with just a few planes inside of the pattern, or it can be really hard with who knows how many planes and non-stop radio chatter. Plus, learning to hear and understand what's going on is an exposure thing that takes time to get a handle of. But we have an easy and free way for you to get the exposure that you need. And if you're trying to learn the radios, this is a great way to help pick up what's going on over the comms. You've probably heard of LiveATC.net, and this is a great resource for listening to the radios from the comfort of your own home. Just type in the airport of your choice, pick the frequency you want to hear, and then hit that listen button. Roger, right, following you. All right, so we got both those traffic and flight. Thanks for that, Mike. Again. And this is what I mean by exposure. You can actually hear radio communications without being in the plane. And because you're not taxed with flying it, you can really focus, start painting that mental picture of where aircraft are in relation to the airport and what they're all doing. Now, if you're having a problem mentally painting, that's okay. Know that you'll get there eventually. But to help, you can print out a copy of the airport diagram, grab a pen, and start marking it up with call signs and locations. Each time you hear a new call or an update, make another mark and then start connecting these dots. After a while, you'll start to understand the calls for inbound and outbound planes, traffic pattern flows, and things will eventually just click. But we do have one more thing that can help you take this to the next level. With live ATC on in the background, open up Flight Radar 24 and head over to the airport you're listening to. Now you can see and hear aircraft almost like an air traffic controller, but that's not what we're here to do. What you want to do is listen to what's going on, recognize where the aircraft are, what they're doing, and find them on the map. 
and then click. If you did it right, you'll be rewarded for the aircraft you heard on the radio. Now you can keep doing this for all the air traffic in the airspace or track a specific aircraft inbound, outbound, or even one that's staying in the pattern. But you can see that this is a really great way to build skills you can actually take back to the plane. And real quick, there is a delay between the platforms and real time, but you should see and hear movement of the aircraft in close enough relation to each other for this all to work. Now, like I said before, this skill isn't just limited to towered fields. It's good for practice areas and non-towered fields too. In fact, maybe even more so. They don't have air traffic control keeping everyone safe and coordinating things. So it's really up to you to listen and know what's going on and coordinate with others. And to get a good taste of that, we made a video on flying in and out of non-towered fields, which you can check out down in the description. Anyways, if you have a trick that you use to help read the airspace, let us know down in the comments because we would love to hear it. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video and if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe because we make great content like this all the time. Right now we're in the middle of making this series on talking to air traffic control, so you're definitely going to want to subscribe for the upcoming videos. Anyways, share aviation wherever you can and we'll see you in the next one.